these are Kemp's Ridley sea turtles. Although they usually like to roam the Atlantic coast, the National Aquarium's Marine Animal Rescue Program is currently caring for these animals in Baltimore. Adults typically weigh in at around 100 pounds, making them the smallest of all sea turtles. But with their worldwide population somewhere between 10 and 20,000, they're also the rarest. Many things can threaten sea turtles, but because of the Kemp's smaller size, they are particularly vulnerable to a phenomenon known as cold stunning. It's essentially the sea turtle equivalent of hypothermia. It can cause myriad health complications, and it's what brought these animals to the National Aquarium. One of these turtles was rescued in Brewster, Massachusetts by the New England Aquarium on December 1, 2009. The turtle was initially treated for two weeks at the New England Aquarium before being transported to the National Aquarium for long-term rehab. During the six-month rehabilitation, the turtle, later named Marshall, underwent treatment for pneumonia, a bacterial infection, and several lacerations and abrasions associated with the cold stunning. Marshall has enjoyed a diet of capelin, shrimp, squid, and mussels while in rehab, and has nearly doubled in body weight. Marshall and at least two other Kemp's Ridley sea turtles are now ready to return to the wild. Animals must sometimes travel a great distance from the care facility back to their habitat, but luckily for these turtles, home is quite close by. This time of year, Kemp's Ridley sea turtles frequently move into the Chesapeake Bay to feed on the abundant jellyfish and mollusks. So on Saturday, June 19th, the Marine Animal Rescue Program will release Marshall and a few rehabilitated companions at Point Lookout State Park off the southernmost tip of Maryland's western shore. Marshall will be fitted with a satellite transmitter that will allow the aquarium to track the turtle following release. And you can track Marshall too by going to www.aqua.org.